Space pants. Space pants. Space soap. Not space pants. No, folks. Space soap is back. Bobby, Robert, you, you've made my dreams come true. Guys, hello, everyone. Hi, it's Friday. Um, it's time to shave. Look, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask. So, uh, I was so excited to get an email just a couple of weeks ago from my old pal, Bob. I call him Bobby. I hope it doesn't annoy you, Robert. So, so Bob made uh, a while back, uh, a couple of years ago, space soap. And I always use it. This is my, this is mine right here. This is this one of mine. Uh, this is the afterburner. He actually made this specially for me with a little extra menthol. And this has become truly maybe my favorite go-to uh, shaving soap. Honest to goodness. I love it. It's charcoal. That's why it's black. It's got a very mild menthol-y mint. It's not too much. And it's just, it lathers effortlessly, beautifully. But for the longest time, it's no, it hasn't been made. But he's, Robert has a, he's a, like a chemical engineer. And like, he knows what he's doing. So he's been working hard. And he's been moving around and back. And now he's kind of getting a little bit settled. And he said, you know what? I'm going to make that stuff again. I still had the recipe. And then eventually, he's going to sell it on his Etsy site. Now, his old one was taken down. That was M.A. Space So I said, bother me. <laughs> look at that. Look like Ed Grimley. It's too much. Okay, that's closer. Anyway, so I don't know exactly when his store will be up. But I want to shave with his new version, which is right here. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I've got a lot of these. Here it is. Look at this. Space Soap. Fine Lunar Edition Peppermint Menthol. Here's the original in a much smaller. Look at that. So now I have a new one. And I'm going to shave with this one today. There it is. I already used it. As you can tell, I checked it out. I do have a couple of thoughts about this as compared to the original. And here, it sits right inside. Look at that. You get a lot more now. So I don't know how much this will cost, when it will be ready. But please, if you've been wanting to try this, get your hands on it. It's so good. And he didn't just send me that. He sent me a bunch of other ones too. Let's start shaving. Let's talk about it all. He even gave me a cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. Because he's got some interesting stuff coming out. So congratulations. I'm so happy. Seriously, I've been hoarding this stuff. I've got another space of just a normal one. And then I have these three, which are like the Christmas ones. You know, there was a cherry one and two Christmas ones. These are fantastic. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm gushing. I'm just excited. <laughs> it's really good stuff. And, and Robert, Bobby... You've done it again. So, I'm going to put my old space soap over here. Save that. I no longer have to, you know, dole it out in small amounts, worried that I will run out soon. It's lasting a long time, folks. Okay. So, I took a shower. did my hair. You saw me, dude, trying to deal with... I think my haircut has reached its expiration date. My self haircut. It's starting to get weird. <laughs> I need to get it. I don't know. And then I've been trimming it a little... I think I'm going down a real weird road with this thing. So I think I might back off a little. Okay, so what am I going to shave with? I didn't even think about that part. Goodness. You know what? I'm going to take the old Rockwell 6S. And I think I just put a new blade in there the other day. Rockwell, fantastic, solid, solid razor. I'm kind of using my solid go-to things right now. Space Soap, Rockwell, and the West Coast Shaving Brush. The old uh, Jolly, <laughs> Jolly Roger. The old Jolly Rancher. All right. So let's lather this stuff up. We'll talk about the other stuff he sent me. And uh, hopefully by the time I post this, um, he will have, uh, Robert will have emailed me back with, uh, with some update on the Etsy store. Anyway, here we go. So this is the new space open, the giant tin, and it, it smells exactly the same. The only difference is, and I noticed this when I used it the other day, and then I went back and read Robert's email, and he mentioned it. I was like, oh yeah, that's right. He uses that charcoal in here to get it to be that black color. But he thought he used too much charcoal because it's a little gray. Can you see the difference? Well, so there's the white and then the gray. So it is. I did notice that the lather is gray. Mmm. God, this stuff. And this isn't even the afterburner. So my mine has a little extra menthol, which I love. But this stuff smells the same. It's, it's rich. It's, it's slick. It, it, you don't have to use much. A little of this stuff really stretches a long way. That's what I've always noticed about it. I'm getting gray, <laughs> gray uh, lather. I think maybe cut back on the charcoal a little. Maybe take it back to the original levels or somewhere around there. I know that would be a, a signature thing, certainly, because it's kind of like the regolith of the moon, right? 
Is that gray when you finally get up there? I don't know. Maybe one day I'll find out. Space soap, fine lunar edition. All right. So he not only sent me that, he also sent me another, well, three other things. Well, just, yeah, I did put a fresh blade. You can tell when you're using a really good quality, solid razor like this Rockwell, and you don't have to get the 6S. That just means it's, it's stainless. I think the design, now the weight does add to it. It feels great. But the design of that head is just, it's probably the most solid razor I've ever used as far as a safety razor is concerned with like no effort whatsoever. And it feels like you're really doing a good job. Anyway, so Robert sent me the classic space soap with menthol and peppermint, uh, which is great. But he also sent this one, which is lemon and mint. So kind of a, a, a verbena scent in the mint. And this stuff is just as good. I haven't used it yet, but it's got a real subtle verbena lemon. This stuff smells like, like if you went into, <laughs> like if, if you're married or you uh, have a girlfriend that likes to shop at fancy places, or at least, you know, not, I didn't say buy stuff. I said shop at fancy places like, I don't know, Sephora or something. I don't even know. I don't even know. I shop at Target, folks. Anyway, that product, this lemon mint smells like something you would find at a store like that. That it smells like good quality thing. So I can't wait to try that. That one's got a little bit of mint in it. And then he decided to do something that I never would have guessed. And which is why I admire you so much, Robert, because, well, first of all, you're good at what you do. And second of all, I like the way you think. Uh, he decided to come up with another uh, type of shaving. Well, he said shaving cream. Um, what did he say? Uh, lather wasn't a primary concern. So, um, hmm. Anyway, so what it is, is, what it is, it is, he calls it Lubrizium. Inspired by the old Barbasol metal tubes. Hold on a second. Let me put this in. Let me shave this bit and I'll show you the one of two tubes of Lubrizium he sent. Now, he said he was inspired by these old Barbasol things, so I got out the old Barbasol, and I put the new Lubrizium in it. <laughs> he came up with this name, and I love it. It's great. There we go. Lubrizium in a metal. Whoa, goodness gracious. A metal tube. I mean, look at this. These are so similar. Look at that. Look at that. Grandpa and the new upstart. But this stuff... Is great. Let me put all this down over here. Sorry, I'm, I, I clean as I go. Please apologize for my uh, uh, anal retentiveness. So anyway, so that stuff, it's a cherry scent. And I'm going to have to read this uh, cheat sheet that he gave me. From the Latin for slick, lubricus, lubricant, obviously. Uh, I made up the name lubrizium, which I love. I, I think that's how he's pronounced. That's how I'm pronouncing it. Lubrizium, lubrizium. I would say lubrizium. But that's just me. Um, I'm sweating. Apologize. <laughs> the design goal is to make something super slick. Lather wasn't a primary concern, but he did it a few test batches. I'm reading this, sorry. <laughs> and came up with this recipe. He said, I think it delivers. I probably should have called it a cream rather than a soap. Uh, a rich and dense cream uh, lather can be coaxed from it. And I did that right before I did this. In fact, I wanted to do it right before I uh, lathered up with the new space open, I blanked, I forgot. But I did, uh, right before I started filming, I got some of this lubrizium, the cherry, which I love the scent of. And uh, what I did was, well, let me, I'll show you, I'll show you what I did. Because the original Barbasol and the new 1919 doesn't lather, it's just slick cream, like a, you know, something you'd put on to shave with without lather. And uh, so I thought maybe that's what this was, because when I was reading his description, I was like, okay, so it is a cream, but you can get a lather out of it. It's got a lot. He says it'll leave an oil slick on your face. Extra olive oil uh, is in it. There's, he said there's a lot of olive oil. He said it's normally a lather killer, but it works. So in this case, what I did was I took it out of the tube. Let me just show you. This is what it looks like. So it's kind of a like a pearlescent, you know, color cream. Smells very good, like rich cherry scent. And uh, does it have some lime in it? Let me see. No, just cherry. Okay, so it 
goes on like this. And so I put it on my face and I was like, and I was uh, using the gents right before and, you know, next to the sink and all. And I was like, hmm, what am I going to do today? So I put it on like this when I still had the beard right before I shaved. And it went on and I didn't think anything of it. And I was sitting there thinking, you know, as you do, thinking. And, uh, and then when I uh, got ready to make the video, I was like, well, I hadn't taken a shower yet, which is what I always recommend. Try some new thing before you take a shower so you can wash it off and not have to live with the whatever scent all day. So I did that, and when I got back out, I'm going to use a new brush so that I'm not messing up this one. I stood up in front of the sink, had this stuff on me still, a little lubrizium, and it's very slick, as I said. And then I just you know, do a face lather. And with the, uh, with the initial beard, the beard hair, this thing like exploded with a ladder and starting, you, like you said, you coax it out. It, it took less coaxing with beard hair. So that first pass, which is why I wanted to do it first because I knew that was helping. But this stuff, even if you don't need a giant one, this is so slick. It smells of rich cherries and it's great. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shave it this one and then I'll do the final one. So I'm not gonna waste this, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so. Very cool. I'm just, I'm so glad that he's back doing it because his stuff truly is good. And he's not paying me to say this stuff. He just sends me the stuff. And he's just a guy who happened to, you know, he was, he was doing it with his sons for a little bit. And he made a really, really good product. And he's back again. And it's still very good. And he's got new stuff coming. So that's really neat. So I hope that uh, life is good for you up there in Pennsylvania part of the world. The family and I will actually be up there in Pennsylvania in July. We're going to go see the in-laws. And then, now get this. This is something I've always wanted to visit. We're going to go up and visit the Mohonk Mountain House. Have you ever heard of that? M-O-H-O-N-K. I want you to go Google that. We're going to go visit that place and check it out. I've always wanted to... I mean, it's, it, it's captivating. I'm not going to say anything else. <laughs> you got to go look it up. Mohonk Mountain house. And if you live up there, you know what we're talking about. So I think we, uh, I don't know when we're going up there, but sometime in July, sometime after 4th of July. My oldest son is at camp in Colorado right now. They have no technology, but they will be writing letters to us. We'll be writing letters to them. In fact, there's something like <laughs> they won't let you have like your Sunday dinner or something unless you've written your letter home. <laughs> you got to do that first or else they'd never do it. They know how kids work up there. This stuff is like, I'm not even thinking about it. And my face feels slick and plump. <laughs> I said that like it was a good thing because I meant it as a good thing. Slick and plump. No, it is. My, my face feels good. And this stuff, it's a mild, like once you put it on, once you get that lather going, you're getting that, you're, you know, all up in that cherry. Oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not I, I, that cherry scent is like, you know, but then as it, it kind of evens out, <sighs> sorry guys, did not mean to say it like that. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Lubrizium. Looks like a little of this also will go a long way. All right. Exciting, exciting days. Oh, now something I, I'm going to try to do Saturday morning. I think they, there's this little, I think it was I on Instagram. I never look at Instagram. And then I, I, I was following the, um, uh, that shaving couple that I love. Uh, oh gosh, I'm sorry. I'll put your link down below. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to go find out. I'm not going to leave you in alert. They're called the barbershop duet. Yes, that's who it is. So anyway, so I was, uh, last Saturday morning, got up time to, <laughs> that wasn't even a word. <laughs> Time to shave, folks, with the back to the uh, space soap. Mm. Oh, I love that mint smell. And it's not too gray. You know, now, as I go, it's not really gray anymore. So you can either take out the charcoal, I mean, take out some of the charcoal or, or not. But I think that level of menthol is perfect. I think a lot of people could deal with this uh, well without burning them too much. 
So anyway, so the barbershop duet, and they had three friends on, and I'm sorry, I don't know your names yet. I haven't got Crystal with a K was one, and her husband, and they run the uh, uh, shaving business, and then there was uh, another gentleman who's also big in the, the shaving arena like that, and, and I will know all their names soon, because I'm going to try to be on their show this coming Saturday if I... Uh, I don't know what the family is doing yet, so I don't know if I'll have a little block of time in the morning to join them. But they do a live shave, all four of them. Like Crystal with a K and a barbershop duet and the other two fellows. And uh, the ladies were, you know, shaving their armpits with safety razors. And they were just kind of having a good time and talking about stuff. And I was like, what is this? And I was taking a walk. And so I was like chatting. And I was like, hey. And uh, so I've been in touch with them. And they said, we'd love you to come on and, and hang out. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Because that would be fun. They are totally into all the stuff, and they know their stuff, uh, their scents and their products and everything. So it's kind of like where I totally lack. Like I'm just like, oh, I think it's good. They know it all. They all like know the, you know the, uh, the scent notes and the the overtones and everything. And they just seem like really good people. So it's nice to uh, come across that sort of stuff. The shaving community, man. Always positive. Always positive, it seems. At least from my experience. But like I said, I don't go to shaving forums. And I know where forums are involved. You can always have some sort of internal struggle. <laughs> Anything from, you know, Beatle guitars to Stormtrooper armor to razors. It's so funny. We humans, man. We're so predictable. Oh, and unpredictable. We are all things. That's right. All right. Man, this, I'm telling you, my face has never felt more slick and plump. So plump. <laughs> plump in the old days was good. It meant you were getting up food. But things change, folks. You either change with it, fight against it, guide it, make it your own. I don't know. That's what we all got to figure out. Okay. Ooh, I need a, I got a couple of nicks there. Cause I'm kind of going crazy, getting all over, super excited. Oh, I want to show you that Lubrizium scent. So he sent me four things: the uh, the peppermint space soap, the lemon mint, the cherry Lubrizium, but he also sent me ginger ale Lubrizium. What? Right, I got to get this thing. I got to get these two together for the thumbnail. I mean, you just you gotta, you can't, you have to. I guess. There you go. There's a the thumbnail. <laughs> that's why. That's how the sausage is made, folks. We all gotta. What do I know? All right, let me uh, rinse off here. Now, here's my proposition. Oh, man. So much insane residual slickness. It's probably lubrizium, because he said there's like so much olive oil in it. You got to really coax the ladder out. Oh, my goodness. Ah, such good stuff. I'm excited for y'all, because for years now, I've been like, damn, because I use it. You know, I use it in these videos, and I'm like, I wish you guys could try this stuff. And I hope that pretty soon you will be able to. And uh, my proposition, Robert, is if you make like the afterburner, call it like the Sinatra Lennon version. Or if you make a, oh, I know, here's what I, here's what I, here's what I, here's what I want. If you can, I don't know if you can, take the scent and the menthol from this and put it into one of these. And then like I could like uh, 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 mock up some kind of box, you know? Like, I got a bunch of these old Barbasol boxes. Here's a little one. Like, I could come up with, like, something that was similar. No, I'm not going to copy the Barbasol. Don't worry, my friends of Barbasol. But, uh, uh, and then be like a, like a throwback, you know, space soap. I don't know. I don't know. Just some thoughts. Just some thoughts. Because, I mean, if I find a product that is really, really good and I really stand behind it, I have no problem putting my name on it. Like the uh, Murica Razor. And I would be happy. And I don't want any... I don't want much of a cut. <laughs> I'm not in it for money. I'm just in it for spread the love. Okay. Dang, dude. You can't go wrong with a decent brush. You know, 15 bucks. Synthetic. A really good razor. This thing's 100 bucks, but you can get it for cheaper. Rockwell. And some just dang good shaving soap. It's as simple as those three things. And they don't have to be the finest quality anything. But when you get a good one of those... Whatever the quality is. If it's a good one, this is a good one. <laughs> and I think it's good quality, too. I think it's all those things. I'm rambling now. I need to shut this down. Ugh. 
Oh yeah, what was I gonna use for aftershave? Where is it? Oh, I was gonna use the Barbasol 1919 because it's another one of my favorite things in the world. The scent of the Barbasol 1919, especially the aftershave. Oh, so good. See, they're still doing it after all these years, folks. They just reversed the label. See, now the screw top is on the bottom. <laughs> Love it. Hello to all my friends up there at Perio in Ohio, Dublin, Ohio, making the Barbasol for all of us. Hopefully worldwide soon. I don't know. I, maybe not. I don't know anything about that stuff. So, oh. <sighs> happy Father's Day, by the way, to all you fathers out there. Happy birthday, or happy Father's Day to my father. And uh, that's, this scent kind of reminds me of his cologne. I can't remember. Papa Sinatra, if you're in the comments, leave what cologne it is that you wear, because this kind of reminds me of that scent. So, I think that's it. I think that's it. How long did we go? 20 minutes! Well, we had a lot of stuff to talk about. So, uh, once again, thank you, Bob. Thank you, Robert. Bobby, space soap. Back together again. We're going. Blast off, baby. Let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See ya.